So I've been using an Apple Watch ever since the Apple Watch Series 4 came out. And it's been a few years now I've been using this watch constantly, almost every day. I'm still wearing it now. But the question I get asked the most is, would you recommend this or what are your thoughts about it? That's a topic for another video, but hey what's up guys, it's me Aaron here and I'm back again with another video and this time around I'm gonna be unboxing the Apple Watch Series 6. Now there's a newer watch out there with better features and all that, but the unboxing experience has kind of been the same for a few years now and this video is gonna give you an overview of how the product looks like and I will also be telling you about my initial impressions on this, but if you guys would like to see a should you buy video on this product Please let me know in the comment sections down below and without any further wasting time, let's jump right into the video. So first of all, let's take an overview of the box. Now if you have seen an usual Apple unboxing, you would notice that Apple usually has this all white box which looks very neat and clean and overall the unboxing experience is always fun with these apple products as you will see in a new moment but anyways at the front you see the apple logo with the word watch and if you look at the back it will show you the specific series of watch you have so here i have an aluminium case series 6 44 millimeter size which is the bigger version it also comes with a pink sand sports band but anyways now we'll open the box and once you open it you'll find another box hidden inside of it with this cool animation looking of the apple watches different kind of versions that you can get or you can buy from apple but anyways keeping that thing aside now let's look at the inside box at the front it has an image of the front of the apple watch without the bands which gives you an overview of how the device is gonna look but at the back you'll see some information about the watch now because these were two separate boxes i like to separate them because one was for the sports band and the other one for the body of the apple watch now first of all we'll take the look of the actual device the apple watch series 6 now if i keep the top aside you'll see the actual device on the left covered with some really good quality material and straight away you can take a overlook of the back first of the device which has a lot of sensors and it also specifically says the specific series, the Series 6, with a 44 millimeter aluminum case. So it specifies what, what kind of an Apple Watch you have on the back of every Apple Watch. As previously mentioned, this is a 44 millimeter Apple Watch that I have with me, which has a digital crown and a button on the right side for easy access and navigate through the menu of it. Although it is a touchscreen watch, these added buttons on the side make it really smooth and really good experience in my opinion and it starts to boot up but i'll keep it aside for now and take a look at the other things in the box now as always with every apple product you also get the written information about the product so this one says designed by apple in california obviously and inside you look there are the terms and condition and and a instruction guide on how to charge the apple watch you get the charger of the apple watch which i previously mentioned is a wireless charger which comes only in white no matter what apple watch you buy but sadly we do not get a adapter included in the box so you might have that already laying around an extra one or or you'll have to buy a new one anyways we'll take a look at the sports band now which was a pink sand sports band you'll see some information like a manual which I'll keep aside. Now, once you open it, it will give you a direct instructions on how to install them on your watch, which I will show in a moment. Here, you do get option of two different sizes of sports pen, which is meant either for a medium to large wrist or a small to medium wrist. Overall, I like the finish of the product and it pairs well with the gold color Apple Watch. Now here you will see how to attach the bands. Now it is fairly straightforward and once you're done with that, now it is the time to pair it with our smartphones. Now the device to pair this with should be an Apple device because it is meant for that. It is going to work the best in that case and that is what I'm going to use here. Specifically, I'm going to use an iPhone 11 Pro Max to pair this Apple Watch with. Now once the watch is turned on, you bring it closer to your phone and it, now your phone is already going to sense there's an Apple Watch nearby ready to be paired this Apple Watch. Once you go ahead, you will have to put your Apple Watch in front of the camera 
so that the iPhone can scan a special barcode kind of thing on your Apple Watch. Now you go ahead and agree to some terms and conditions and sign in to your Apple ID. Once you're done with that, you're almost ready to use the Apple Watch. You're gonna go ahead, click some buttons, go continue on some stuff, and your Apple Watch will start syncing with your iPhone. Now, if you let it do its thing, you should be done with the setup by now, and it will show you some of the instructions to navigate through the menu. So like how to use the display, how do you use the digital crown on the side, and also the side button. Once you're in, you'll be greeted with the watch faces. Now I'm gonna quickly go in the menu and I'm gonna check how the heart rate sensor on it is and how fast it is. It takes a few seconds but it tells me my heart rate. It will give you a nice idea of how your blood pressure is doing. Next you can take a look at the different watch faces that we have with this device and I'll scroll through some of them in order to, for you guys to take a look. For me in terms of using a series 5 and now the series 6 but let me tell you the experience of using an Apple Watch is always very smooth and minimal and to the point, which is in my opinion what you need, specifically in a smartwatch, because you need to the point information, you don't want any kind of, you don't want a lot and a lot of information get thrown at you when your agenda is just to look at time sometimes. These watch faces also do have some extra features that can be shown on the screen with the time. So as for example, the calendar, your heart rate or the temperature outside or how much you have walked or how much you have exercised during a particular day. All those kinds of things are customizable and up to the user, however they want to customize it. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the menu and of how it looks and how you na navigate through it. You just wanna open an app and you just sometimes get lost on like where to find it or where is it located in that menu. Now for fitness and health features, you've got always on OLED display, which is now much brighter, a new S6 processor, and the fitness and health features include a motion sensor to calculate how hard you are working out, a heart rate sensor, an ECG, a pulse oxygen sensor, a new altimeter that is always running, and a accurate compass. Also, it is to mention that this watch is waterproof up to 50 meters deep. Now the screen is same as the Series 4 and Series 5 Apple Watches with a sharp and colorful OLED display and it's pretty sharp and the OLED display is so colorful with the deepest blacks you can imagine. And that was basically it for today guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. And if you did, then make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Also comment down below what you, you guys think about this product. But that was basically it for today and this is Arin Sedeora signing off for now. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.